Hey Magic One, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. I hope you're having a great week so far. Very soon I will be posting the 2022 yearly overview readings for each zodiac sign. I know I've been saying that for a couple of weeks, but I've had such a crazy start to the year. It's been really busy and it really does take so much time to do this. So I hope that you, you hang in with me there and I'll get them to you very soon. If you wanted to get your own personalized tarot wheel that will show you the available energies for you for each month of the year that you can align your inspired action to. I am running a special on that reading through my website. You can use the code YOUR22 to get 22% off that at the moment. Uh, you'll find the link to my website down there and also to the other types of uh, personal readings and healings that I do offer. Uh, you can also join the initiation at any time. That's my immersive blue tarot journey. If you're thinking about learning to read the cards for yourself, maybe your family, your friends, you can get immediate access to all of the online learning modules and videos and bits and pieces uh, when you sign up and you get lifetime access so you can take as long as you want to get it done as well. So that is about it from me. I just wanted to pop in and say hi and wish you a week of love and magic. Let's head across to your, to your tarot reading now. Leo, welcome to your tarot reading for January 24th to the 30th. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. I have the nine card block here, Leo, three cards recent past, three current or focused energy, three near future outcome, a couple of oracles, and a lead tarot energy. Leo, you know what? This energy really is a you can have it all energy, okay? So many positive cards here, nine and ten of cups, nine of pentacles, wheel of fortune, the sun. I love this energy for you. So we'll jump into that in a sec. Let's start with the oracles. The first one out was trust your path, Leo. Now, if you've started walking a new path, if you've had a new direction or opportunity present itself that you're thinking about going for, it really says that you can trust it. This is potentially the direction that's going to take you into um, a really positive direction. One where not only are you receiving more of the cups energy, happiness, joy, satisfaction, but also the pentacles energy, success, having enough resources, feeling grounded, feeling stable as well. So I really love that. And it says, if you knew you'd be supported, what would you do? So if you're thinking, oh, this opportunity's come in, but you know, maybe things aren't quite right or the circumstances aren't quite right, it says, just trust it and begin walking, Leo. The next one was Akasha. Your guidance is divinely guided. The sun is this energy of divine guidance. We have the death card as your lead tarot energy. It's almost like there is guidance from the other side here. If you have a past loved one that you feel the presence of, that maybe you feel that they give you signs, well, I feel like they will give you a sign about this this week. Akasha is about your karmic timeline, your divine path, and that this uh, opportunity or directional change is meant for you to, to get you onto your best timeline. Death is the, the lead tarot energy. I'm not really feeling into the energy of ending. I'm feeling into the other energy, uh, other meaning of death, which is transformation, metamorphosis, or, or liberation, especially in this particular death card. You know, we see somebody who is actually almost intoxicated by this energy of change and transformation. It's like, I've got nothing less left to lose. I surrender. Just guide me forward. So it's Scorpio energy. You may be dealing with a Scorpio. I feel like whatever this is that's happening here, it is changing and transforming your life for the better. Jumping in, Leo, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Eight of Wands. Okay, well, the Eight of Wands is the directional change. And for me as a reader, this is like a turning of the tables or a directional change. So you might have been heading in one direction and there's been a message or a communication, um, some kind of divine intervention or guidance that's come in and all of a sudden, you know, it's gotten your attention and maybe you're heading in, in another direction, okay? Um, and the cards are saying you can trust that. 
this could have been good news coming in for you. It, it's next to the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Ten of Cups. So you might have had some happy news here that is somehow leading to um, another direction in your life. Okay, it could be travel as well. Like there could be travel involved with the Eight of Wands. So it's really happy energy. I mean, the Nine and Ten of Cups are like the, the highest elevations, the highest levels of, you know, emotional fulfillment and happiness. Um, there's a sense of being really proud of, of this. And I think because, you know, maybe you have been taking some of the steps, laying the foundation to this for some some while. Maybe maybe there was something that you you did or applied for or or something like that. And then all of a sudden you get the news. With the Ten of, of Cups, you know, this can be to do with home life, family life, you know, residence, that kind of thing. Whatever this change is, it says it's going to be better than what you've had in the past. So the focus energy, Nine of Pentacles, Hierophant at the center and the Wheel of Fortune. Hierophant is Taurus energy. So again, Taurus links to our money, our finances, real estate, stability, security, so I feel like there's going to be a huge improvement or luck change in one of those areas. Um, it can link to work and study as well, the Hierophant. It's kind of those big traditional settings. Now, then, the Nine of Pentacles is a real card of success. Um, it also can be a card of either going in your own direction or your own way. So breaking out of the team, away from, you know, maybe employed employment, going out on your own, that kind of thing, or or shining bright and, and really being noticed um, in your career as well. It's kind of like a butterfly emerging energy, and this death card sort of shows that kind of metamorphosis from, from caterpillar to butterfly. So maybe it's whatever this, uh, this news is, it kind of, it changes your, it's like it changes your finances, it changes your happiness, it really is going to lead to some some very happy positive changes for you. But the Wheel of Fortune, I mean, it's destined. It's absolutely on the destined path for you. And it may, maybe the death card here means that it's going to also close a cycle for you. So, you know, the Nine and Ten of Cups, we're, we're heading into a happier, higher vibrational um, yeah, outcome or reality. But... Well, of course, with every new beginning is a door closing as well, is an ending. So we might be, you know, uh, we might have had to leave one home for the other, but it's like it's a good thing, okay? Um, same could be say about work. There's like a level up. So you're leaving something behind, but what you're leaving behind has been the cocoon, um, the safe space, but the small safe place, okay, now we get to expand, now we get to experience something far greater, that's the energy. So down here I've got the Nine of Swords, I have King of Wands, the Sun, so these are both your cards here, Leo, uh, you know, King of Wands and the Sun are Leo energies. The Nine of Swords is a little odd one out here, I mean, it is an energy of, you know, stress and tension, so I think we should, I think we should pull another one for that. But we see you fighting off, like almost standing up against whatever the stress is. It's pretty much the only card in the whole reading that isn't amazingly positive. Knight of Cups. Okay. Um, there could even be somebody else that tries to move in on this opportunity with the Knight of Cups. That's just something that is coming through. The Knight of Cups can be somebody who is another type of messenger, maybe an emotional messenger as well, maybe a Pisces that, that comes into the mix here and causes some stress around this. Oh. Let's get one more for that. I've got the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, this is a card of coming into balance and, you know, karmic balancing as well. So I feel that whatever this challenge is around this, whether it's somebody else that's kind of getting involved or somebody else that's kind of meddling, then things will... Um, you know, things will balance out. But do you know what else I see in this card? Six of Pentacles is this card of kind of um, charity and handouts. And if you see in it, 
You can see all these hands coming up like wanting a coin. So if you come into a little bit of money or if you come into, you know, a beautiful home or some kind of really big change in your circumstances, there may be others around you that want a piece of that. So I think you might need to man manage that, Leo, okay? Um, and we're not necessarily talking major windfalls, but it's amazing that when we have a change in our circumstances, all of a sudden, you know, people want to be our friends or want a piece of that. So there could be someone coming forward that needs to be managed there as well. Uh, King of Wands and the Sun, you know, this is about very positive energy. It is a positive chapter opening up for you, Leo. And I feel like with the Sun energy, it takes you out of like a period of struggle or a big obstacle in your life and it gives you the opportunity to walk a new path, right? That you can trust, to to manifest new things in your life, to to build an empire, to you know be the king of your castle. Okay, so it's a very positive energy. Let's get one more. Knight of Wands. Sagittarian energy, it's an energy of moving forward and usually you're moving forward to the new frontier and new manifestations, new passions, new purpose, new desire. So I feel that there's a the energy is a very lucky or fortunate circumstance change, maybe through a message or a communication that comes in, could be around home, real, real estate or relocation and it allows you to move forward and to move forward to a happy chapter, one where, you know, we can come together with family. We don't have to worry about money anymore. We just may need to manage those around us that sometimes come forward and want a bit a bit of a, a slice of the action. But Leo, look again, the sun is at the bottom of the deck. So if you're worried right now about, you know, a stressful chapter that you're going through, the cards are saying it's only going to be for a short time Hang in there because the sun is about to burst onto your reality. So it's a short and sweet one, Leo. I'm going to leave it there and wish you all the best with it this week. Do keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective, so it may or may not be for you. Feel free to drop me a, a comment if you're called to share. I do read them all, Leo, and try to get to know all of you over there as well. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. That will uh, notify you when I do upload new videos and there's a great way to support the channel, channel as is liking, sharing and commenting on the video. It's been a pleasure to read your cards. Um, enjoy this energy change, Leo. I will see you back here for another one next week. Bye for now.